Well, the wind is blowing, but it's not cold. Uh, hey, I'm Tony. Welcome to Coolest Life. And I'm here visiting yet another lodge. This lodge, Hillsborough Lodge, one of the oldest lodges around. Hillsborough Lodge number 25, as you can see by the number right there. Uh, here in downtown Tampa. Uh, this is not far, I think we're seven miles from uh, uh, the, the uh, Shrine, Shriners Hospital uh, that's here in town and also the uh, International Shrine Headquarters. So it's not just got a, this is a big old building and there's businesses down here. Now I just gotta find a door so I can knock and see if we gain admittance. Because you've just entered the coolest life. But wait, before we go into that building, which I believe we're gonna be able to go into in about another 15 minutes or so, directly across the street is a nice little park, which I'm in right now. And it's got this thing. Uh, what do they call that thing? I forget what they call it. Anyway, it's pretty cool. I got this, and I got the, the lights are kind of got a like a blue haze to them. But it's a really nice little park. Takes up one full square block. And it's got this thing here in the middle of it. You can see it if I zoomed in. Can I zoom in? No. It won't let me zoom. That's okay. But anyway, it's got a it's got a person right there. See it right here? inside of a big glow. It's a really nice park. I guess you could play frisbee or do whatever you wanted to down here. Or basically if you're working downtown, then you could come here for lunch. Because there's all the, uh, yeah, they got they got benches here. Plus they've all, all they got this uh, small walls here that are, that are nice and set up for, uh, set up for, for walking or for sitting while you're eating your lunch. This is pretty cool on the ground. It's like it's got some of the, uh, this, of course, is Tampa area here. This is. It's neat, they got a, all going around. Hillsborough County, nice. If you're ever down here in downtown Tampa, come check out this park, it's pretty cool. Now let's go inside. Well, there you have it. I was able to get in, finally. But uh, this is their large foyer room here. When I say large, it's really nice. I don't think I've seen a Blue Lodge with a nicer, hey, I know her, with a nicer foyer room than this. Especially look at the size of these columns, they're huge. They're, let's see, I'd say they're probably 12 feet tall, this one is. And if they've got some of their, uh, the picture of George Washington over there is pretty, pretty common in most Lodge. And be very Reed, Miss Harris. Joseph Moore, some older pictures. I'm, my guess is these are some past masters. They do have a past masters room upstairs I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Of course, there's a old painting of GW. Yeah. And this is a nice wide staircase. It's probably nine feet wide. It's got dual banisters on each side. This is actually the dining room, which we could have went to the side of the, uh, we could have went right in here to the side and came into the dining room. You can show me this one, there's a light. Ooh, look at that. Nice big dining room. Nice columns. These columns and this down here kind of reminds me of Solomon Lodge number one. Has kind of a setup like this. There's a nice mural. Tapestry, I think is what that is actually. And some older pictures of downtown Dayton from back in the day. All the wires going across everything. It's pretty neat. But looks at those cars. 19, this is 1927 Lafayette Square in Tampa. Look at all the people. Nice. Every lodge seems to have its own little character and its own little extra pieces of history, if you will. And, and so it's really interesting. Hey, that's the secretary's office there. This is their um, their meeting room, their parlor, if you will. Got a got a lot of nice uh, pictures. And they've also got a balcony out here. They say what they want to do is make inside of here 
uh, put screens in, in here so they can make this a cigar area. Hmm, I'm good with that. <laughs> this is about me. One time it, they said this it used to be open air all the way to the street. They've got some nice memorabilia. Paul Revere chapter over Demolai is here. Got a nice pool table, old school, especially that color. Man, got it from the 70s, maybe 60s. And then uh, we've got the uh, past master's room here. Really nice. It's got a full library. Some pictures of some of their past masters up on their wall. They're about to celebrate their 175th year in about three years. So we're, we're coming up on that pretty quick. Really nice. <clears throat> some more memorabilia from some different things. Just like a little printing press. Or some type of stamp, return address stamp. And some old pictures of downtown Tampa. There's the outside of this building here. We actually went in this main door right here, which is really nice. They said the Scottish Rite used to own this building next door. You can see even, even with these cars from the 20s. Really nice facility. Um, that's a big picture. Is it? Yeah, yeah. The lectures, just like this is a uh, he has a um, quills. So with, with with the quills, that means he's a general secretary. Really nice. Always enjoyed some of the extra stuff that you find and the nuances of of lodges. Some of their extra shot glasses and things like that. But we've also got these old cameras. Really nice. And this one here has actually got some of the hats of uh, different organizations. I see some. There's another one of those we saw at the, we saw that at the Sarasota Lodge. It's got a clock like that. This looks like some some old ballot boxes. That's a nice one there. It's got the handle on it. You open it from both sides, isn't that neat? And also, this one here is on. I don't think I've ever seen one like this one here. You would take your, whatever you vote, or in here, you would take whatever you vote and drop it down, drop it down in the hole like that. And then they could see it down here. Real neat. Never seen a, never seen one like that. Um, your current Warsaw Master. This is where you would come and sign in and grab you an apron if you didn't have one. It's like a good place for Warsaw Master's hat right there. <laughs> Classic picture, cornerstone, capital building. There's some really neat tapestries inside this main room. This, because this is the main main hall, main lodge room. You can see even this door. This door is four feet wide, maybe five. I mean, it's a good size. Just the whole room. All the detail in the ceiling. And this is the back. I got three rows here in um, the west. Three rows of chairs. I really like these uh, columns here. <clears throat> They've even got three of them wired, so they got lights up inside of them. But this is a metal. This isn't wood. This, of course, is wood, but the rest of this is not. <clears throat> I've never seen columns like these either, uh, the central columns, because there there's actually four columns that make up this one. They're wired up because the room is so big. And here's your other column here. You don't just don't see this kind of workmanship anymore. You know, taking the time to do 
extra work like you see going up this way here especially those corners up there is actually just more seating more seating like this there's a uh, 15 rows 15 rows that go up there on the other side of that curtain pay no attention to the people behind the curtain <laughs> but anyway um everything's pretty much original as far as the color if these were redone they were done back in the original color there of course is the altar we'll see that in just a second again here's another column same kind of style but look at the detail in this really nice especially even right there to that tapestry you still you see it's a the building depicting the building of king solomon's temple it's really nice also the detail in the uh up in the ceiling you can see all that detail in there it's really nice they've, they've done a really good job of of uh maintaining it sure it's, it's an older building there's going to be some issues with it but it's in really good condition right now from what i can see this of course is where the master would sit got these huge columns on the side these columns here are definitely built in you're not going to roll these things around and they're about 20 feet high <laughs> maybe 18. got a nice rock here the you see this in a lot of lodges that the uh there's a there's gonna be a, a stone that's that's unscathed that has not been chiseled down as of yet looks like their charter there actually they got an order of the eastern star there that's how you can that's how you know what that is um master sits here he's got a microphone i mean you can hear him throughout the whole building really nice but just look at the detail this takes a whole lot of money to do something like that and that's of course is their banner see the master of course this is his his jewel here but he he uh lectures by the gavel a lot of times when a we open lodge we might invite a past master to come sit up here and that of course is the logo of a past master if you're not a past master you're not supposed to sit up here visiting or otherwise that's who that's reserved for and here's where your secretary would sit we've got some wine corn and maybe some oil and that thing um it's a nice piece there over here there I forget what that sign that symbol is I'm gonna go check that out because I don't I forget what this symbol is uh Hillsborough Lodge presented to our 75th anniversary worship master George Levitt first book of Moses Genesis I forget what the What's the first line of Genesis say? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. That's what it says right there. Even this, even some of the little details, like like above the doors, you see the uh, corner, not the cornerstone, but the uh, Ah, I forget what they call this thing. The keystone here, here in the center. They're going off at an angle. Really nice detail. Just a nice big room. Not a lot of stuff on the, the uh, um, but like beside this mural. Not a lot of going on like we saw at the other lodges. But now, uh, this is the, in an older building. They've had these, uh, these older return vents here which is right there and then of course they've got some in the ceiling but of course they don't use those this place is air conditioned now so no issues there now, i did not get a chance to visit this lodge while it was at labor but uh they were in here doing some work and uh gave me the the honor and the pleasure of coming in here creating this video for you uh I told them i was youtuber and then I, I had some masonic videos i definitely wanted to do some of this lodge because i heard so much about it and that is the truth but uh 
but I think I'm gonna make my way down the hall and uh, and and go ahead and get out of here. But I wanted this as my backdrop. <laughs> so if you ever get a chance to visit Hillsborough Lodge here in Tampa, Florida, I encourage you to do so. Uh, really nice lodge. Uh, I wish I. Uh, was in town when they're going to be having their meeting because I would definitely want to attend this and, and see some of their degree work. But uh, we're out of here. This is uh, the Masonic edition of Coolest Life. And uh, be sure and tell your friends to send this video to people who are maybe even considering being Masons uh, so they can take a look at what's inside that there's no real secrets. So, but uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, again, tell us to your friends and uh, because you are now leaving the Coolest Life. Mm -hmm.